What's up YouTube? It's Joe from Petty Fixes and today we're going to do a video that's a little out of the ordinary for me. Today we're going to talk about how to start your journey on YouTube. Coming up. So lately I have been getting a lot of questions from my friends, uh, people on Twitter, people on Facebook. Joe, I know you do YouTube. What made you start? How did you get started? Well, it's a lot of things that made me get started, and it's a lot of reasons why I started. I'm gonna go over about five ways to get your YouTube career off the ground and to give you like a storyboard on how to get things done when it comes to planning videos and things like that. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Number one, have a passion for something that you wanna talk about. For me, the reason I got started doing this is because I have a passion for tech and nobody I know has a passion for tech like me in my media friend circle. So what I wanted to do was just to talk to everybody who does have a passion for tech like I do. And like I said, it wasn't many, but I figured, hey, there's a lot of people on YouTube doing this and they got hundreds of thousands, millions of subscribers. I mean, I'm just starting off. I don't expect to have millions of subscribers, you know, but I want to talk to people. I want to get people's input on certain things and I just want to just start this stuff up and see how it does. So for me, my main thing was having a passion, having a passion for doing things and talking about things and knowing what I want to talk about, when I want to talk about it and who to direct my target audience to. Basically just who to talk to when it comes to my audience, my viewers and stuff like that. So it's going to be one of those things where you really have to pinpoint your passion, whether it be technology, whether it be doing makeup, whether it be in liking cars, painting, fishing, I mean, sports related stuff, you name it, YouTube got it. And this is one of those things where somebody might not share your point of view on things or might not even share your interests, but you know somebody online does. So for me, my first step was learning my passion, figuring out my passion, and wanting to put my passion on video for others to see. Number two, knowing what you want to talk about. Now, having a passion and knowing what you want to talk about are two different things. I could like technology. For example, my channel is all about technology, computers and stuff like that, but I have a passion for technology. There's a big broad range of technology out there. You can want to talk about phones. You can want to talk about computers. Like my channel, I talk about computers, but my first love was phones. So there's a lot of things you can want to talk about makeup, but do you want to talk about eyeshadow or lipstick? You can talk about cars. Do you want to talk about Dodge or Chevy? You could talk about all kinds of things. Um, knowing what you want to talk about in your videos is very, very important. For me, I personally write down a script. I have a storyboard on how I want my videos to go. There's a lot of things when it comes to writing a script. You could write for days about your thing, but you're going to be writing about five or six different topics when you can actually split that whole entire script up into five or six videos. So pinpoint what you want to talk about in your videos and go from there. It's not hard to do. Me personally, it's been a long time since I've actually used the script because I've got so used to doing it. I'm about 60 something videos into YouTube right now. So um, it's, it's you have to find your niche. You have to know what you want to talk about and you have to directly deliver on what you want to talk about. When it comes to writing a script, you don't want to be all over the place because some people lose interest when they watch your videos, they might lose interest in the first 15, 20 seconds or 30 seconds to a minute because you don't talk about five different things in the video and none of it has anything to do or pertaining to your video, your topic. So you might want to you know, narrow it down to one thing, the main thing you want to talk about or just jump straight into it because I don't want to sit there and listen to a two minute long intro of somebody telling me what they're about to talk about and I haven't even seen any of the product any of the features of the product or anything like that. So narrow it down, jump straight to it, and don't be all over the place when it comes to writing a script or delivering your speech when it comes to your videos. Number three, who do you want to talk to? Now, this one's kind of a touchy one for real for me personally because I could be talking to anybody in my videos. Now, for me, the reason I mainly want to start YouTube, like I said previously, was because I like to talk about tech, but you know, my friends, my main circle of friends, they don't like to talk about tech. They like to talk about girls and getting money. You know, in my, in my circle, that's what we talk about, but dude, there's better things in life to that. 
So I like to talk about tech. I like to talk about computers. I like to talk about cameras. I like to talk about, you know, phones and stuff like that. But my friends don't like to talk about that stuff. So I figured out, hey, you know, I got an audience that may want to hear me. So my first video, I talked about a computer monitor because I hadn't seen any reviews on that monitor at all. So I directed my audience to come look at this video. Hey, I'm talking about a computer monitor. I'm not talking about uh, a regular old monitor. This is a special monitor that you might want to check out. Now granted, the audio was terrible. Uh, my video quality wasn't all the greatest because I had like a budget camera and stuff like that. But I found out who I wanted to talk to. And when that video hit about 30,000 views, I was like, wow, man, people really want to watch this stuff. So when it comes to that, you really have to direct your audience to your video. You have to pinpoint who you want to talk to. Are you making videos for kids? Are you making videos for adults? Are you making tech videos? Are you making makeup videos? Are you making car videos? Talk to those people. Those people want to listen to you. They come to YouTube for a reason, to look for people like you to talk. So that's step number three for me. That was my biggest tip when it comes to making a video, honestly. Like you have to direct your energy to the people who you know are gonna listen. You wanna talk to people who are really gonna listen to you. Number four, this is a really, really big one to me. Before I even started doing videos, doing any kind of YouTube or anything like that, I had a vision. And my vision was a specific type of video. I love the cinematic look. I like how, you know, people do their b-roll I like how people you know sit and do talking head videos like this one this is a talking head video if you never heard of it but you know this is when you just sit in the camera and you just talk there's nothing else going on you just sitting in the camera and talking um, I have a specific vision on how I want my channel to be what I want my videos to look like and how I want to present myself on camera um, a lot of people are gonna come to your videos looking for a specific direction they're gonna be looking for consistency in your videos if you're all over the place like I said your script it's not gonna matter if you know you're talking about good stuff and you're delivering a hard message or you are you know hammering down on the facts or whatever if you don't have a vision on how your stuff is gonna look it's gonna turn some people off they're not even gonna want to watch you because you're all over the place or your stories your storyboard how you may have planned it just isn't consistent with what your channel is conveying so like for example if I talk about tech right I got a computer in the background. I got my big computer in the background. Um, I might be making a video about the computer case, you know, doing a review on a computer case. And I have a vision on how I want my stuff to look, but I don't know how to pro project that out into videography. I don't know how to record it. I don't know how to do the B-roll. There's a lot of different things that you can do, techniques, which is actually gonna be another video that I'm gonna talk about. But there's a lot of different things you can do to put your vision into motion. I'll sit there and I plan my vision. I think about it for two, three days before I even start to record because I know what I want my stuff to look like. So number four would be plan your vision out. Plan out how you want your things to look. Plan out how you want your video to go, the motion, the smoothness of your video and the flow rate of your video. Number five, this is a simple one. This is probably the easiest one, but might be a little complicated for some of you all. Go with the flow. Just go with the flow, man. Like, just jump in front of the camera and just do your thing, man. There's going to be times where you're going to be awkward starting off in the beginning because you don't know how to be on camera. You don't record videos. You don't sit and talk to anybody. I'm an introvert. I don't like to talk to anybody, you know, especially being on camera where I got hundreds of thousands, potentially millions of people looking at me, watching me. So go with the flow. Um, do a couple test shots, you know, sit in front of the camera, talk in front of the camera. You might have to change your voice up a little bit. You might have to change your personality, your body language. You might have to change your body language up. Move your hands. Do something, you know, in the camera. Uh, get up and walk around with the camera. There's a lot of things you could do to make your films, your videos, just look unique. Go with the flow. Don't be shy. Don't be awkward. There's nobody but you behind the camera unless you got a whole film crew. I don't. It's just me. I just do my thing by myself. But no need to be awkward. No need to be shy. Just get in front of the camera. Do your thing. So like I said, guys, those are five things when it comes to starting your YouTube channel. Like there's a lot of things when it comes to YouTube, man, that you're not gonna get at first. You're not gonna know what to talk about. You're not gonna do all kind of stuff right. Like for example, my first video had tons of views. My second video had 128 views, 128. I got discouraged. I didn't wanna do it no more. 
but keep at it, man. Like eventually you're gonna have your break. People are gonna notice you and you know, you're gonna start getting paid. So that's it guys. This is Joe from Petty Fixes. That's my five tips on how to begin your YouTube career. Have a good one, y'all.